my channel. Today we are going to be doing the Ipsy unboxing. This is the new Ipsy Glam Plus. So I think every three months you get a um, box instead of a bag. I'm not sure exactly how it works, um, but this is what it looks like. And we're going to go ahead and go on the inside and see what we find. I did actually open it already and watch the Smashbox glitter palette because I wanted to see what the undertone was so that I could um, see what look I can build around it. So I did um, swatch that but only on my hands. I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. And um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and open it. And that is what the inside looks like. And it just says, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. Right there. And then inside the box, you'll have your products in there, as you can see. There you go. And so we are going to start with the Perlise, Perlis. This is the Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. It says... Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant is a 10 minute facial treatment designed with blue lotus seeds, white clay, bamboo, ginger tea, and mushroom ex extract. This miracle multitasker instantly brightens, detoxifies, tightens, and soothes skin while providing gentle exfoliation. Our power blend improves skin's texture and leaves it visibly youthful and glowing on the back here it tells you start with a cleanse skin apply a thin layer to face neck and chest let it set and dry for 10 to 15 minutes remove mask with water in gentle circular motions to exfoliate use two to three times a week and that's what that looks like and so when I was using it it was um, pretty nice it's really firm it gets really like stiff on your face it says all skin types sensitive so I didn't break out or anything it, my face feels really good and so that's what that looks like and this one retails for $48 they do have a travel size one that is $20 so you can do this one for 48 or the smaller travel size for um, 20 that's expensive <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to our next product which is the Lux me um, pure Nilo Nilotica melt I don't know if I'm saying that right but it comes in this little pretty box here the packaging is really pretty go ahead and take that out and this is a nourishing balm to oil it says direction squeeze out balm and massage into skin use as an overnight facial mask or throughout the day where needed we suggest around the eyes on lips and dry patches so I'm guessing it's like a moisturizer type of thing Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I'm going to put it on my face a little because it is a little dry right now. And so this one retails for $28. And um, I was reading online. It is from Uganda. So there's a lot of different things that this provides. I was reading on the website that it provides jobs for women in Uganda and also it's like organic. I'm not sure exactly what the ingredients are. I guess I could see here. Ingredients. No. I just remember reading something that says it's similar to like coconut oil. So if you guys use that for your face, it's supposed to be really good. I've never used coconut oil for my skin, but we shall see. I'm gonna go ahead and warm it up with my fingers. Oh, it does feel kind of oily. Oh, it does feel a little oily. Good thing I didn't put a lot. I think this is gonna go a long way. You're not gonna need a lot when using this. If you guys can see that shine already. And I put like a pea-sized amount on my fingers. It says you could use it on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my lips too. And then underneath your eyes. It feels really nice. And then I don't know if I said this, you can get that off the website. And I will link all these down below. So if you guys are interested in any of these, 
you can purchase it i will also have ipsy linked down below so if you guys want to subscribe you can um i think right now the glam bag is available for people that were already on ipsy glam bag the normal one not the ipsy plus if you're already subscribed to ipsy then you can upgrade and get this box for 25 dollars so the other one is only 10 where you get your sample sizes but this one will be 25 and i'm really rubbing that in because i think even that even if it was just a piece sized amount it was a lot i mean it seems expensive but you probably don't need that much product when using this it feels so nice on my skin if you guys can see it, it looks really hydrated not oily like i thought it was at first when i first like it just melted into my hands it felt so nice and then to prep the skin we have the ciate london dewy spritz luminous prep prime and set spray so we're gonna be really luminous today um it says skin hydrating contains hyaluronic acid and green tea extract it's oil free as well and this one retails for 25 dollars the packaging looks so pretty if you guys see that so cool way cool and then on top here it says shake to activate so i'm gonna go ahead and do that oh how cool you can see like the stuff on it you guys see all that stuff moving around in there how cool is that okay we're gonna go ahead and spray it on the face to prime and is there a certain way you're supposed to put it shake well before you use to activate hold the bottle 20 centimeters away Close eyes and miss face, both before and after makeup. Evenly cover the face by using an X and T formation when spraying. So X and then T. We'll see. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. <laughs> Dr. Seuss over here. So I will let this dry and then I will come back with my foundation and bronzer and concealer and blush already done. And then we will use the rest of the products in the box. I will be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back with the face mostly done. We do have a product in here that is um, the highlighter. This is the Morphe High Impact Highlighter in the shade Extra. I didn't open that. And I'm kind of excited for this because I haven't tried their highlighters. So this will be cool. That is what that looks like. And it has a nice big mirror, if you guys can see there. Nice big mirror. And that is the color right there. Really pretty. Looks like it's a little golden. I'm gonna grab my highlighting brush that I always use. My little pink brush here. I'm gonna grab a little on the brush. And go ahead on the face. That was just a little bit guys it wasn't even like a lot holy cow look at that you guys see that Ooh. that looks so pretty gonna do the other cheek it does have a golden undertone to it very whoa whoa in the camera it looks really crazy i mean on in real life it looks crazy too put some on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose on the lip or not the lip but the cupid's bow and a little on my chin i'm gonna put a little on the center of my face i'm just putting it everywhere holy moly i'm the shiny lady i'm gonna grab my damp real technique sponge and just put that on the skin there so it blends a little into it wow the highlighter is insane it's really pretty sorry if you guys can hear the heater it is finally cold here in colorado it actually snowed yesterday and today actually last night i guess and into this morning but we got some snow yay okay so this highlighter is actually um retails for 14 dollars 
it's really pretty. It's not so expensive. It's still pretty. It's really nice, actually. Very inexpensive. So today I'm going to be using my ColourPop I Think I Love You palette with this um, Smashbox Cover Shot Bold Glitter eye palette that we got in the box. And let's take it out of the packaging. Okay, and that's what that looks like. It looks really pretty. Those are the eyeshadows. It's not going to be anything too crazy for this look. Let me just grab some brushes. This is the shade Bel Air. I'm going to go in with that one in my crease to start off the look. gonna go in with the shade here this is the shade my type that one right there and then to deepen out that oiler corner just a little bit I'm gonna grab that black right there and that is in the shade I don't know Let's do it. I think that's the name of the shade. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with this shade here called Let's Reflect. I'm going to use that one there. And maybe I'll mix a little bit of this one. This is the shade Pinky Ring. I'm going to use both of these and see what happens. And on the back of the um, palette here, it says apply with your finger for maximum pigment payoff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to grab this one first. Just grabbing it with my finger. And I'm going to place it on the lid. Oh, that's really pretty. Lots of glitter on there. Let's pack a little bit of that pink over it and see what happens. Isn't hard to try, right? Oh, that's pretty. There you go. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that black from the palette here and just deepen it up just a little bit more there in the outer corner. These are both really pretty put together. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye, starting with that deeper purple shade. It does have some fallout as you guys can see I got a little bit down here but it's not nothing too serious okay and then I'm gonna pack a little bit of that pink on top as well like I did on this eye and I'm kind of just patting it on instead of dragging it out and I'm also gonna darken this side just a little bit more There you go. That looks really pretty. What do you guys think? I'm gonna see if I can line my eye with this Wet n Wild Mega Liner Metallic Liquid Liner. It's a purple shade. I'm gonna go ahead and see how it looks. Hopefully it won't kill my look. <laughs> my waterline with this Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide-On pencil and this is in the shade Perversion and then in the bottom I'm just gonna go in and smoke it out with that black for the inner corner I'm actually gonna grab that Morphe highlighter and put that in my inner corner so just with my pinky Put it in there, and then in there, and that 
that's what that one is like. The Smashbox Cover Shot Gold Glitter Eye Palette. And this one retails for $29. Then we're going to go to our last product in the box, which is the Tarte Man Eater Double Duty Beauty Mascara. <laughs> and this one retails for $23. And of course, the packaging is pretty... I feel like the packaging in all of these products are really pretty. So I'm going to go in with this. And I'm not sure what this one claims to do. Let's see. Voluptuous Mascara. So Voluptuous Volume Thickening, hopefully. <laughs> see that it looks really pretty let's do the bottom lashes I feel like the test is always on this side because I don't know why my lashes are so weird on this side like I feel like these are more like spiky for some reason my eyelashes it could be because of the fake eyelashes I don't know but these are really messed up <laughs> Okay, and so that is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Like I said, the packaging is really pretty. If you guys see that? Real pretty. And so the box also comes with this bag that I have never looked at before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty decent sized bag you can put your stuff in here actually pretty cool so that's what that looks like it has a little pouch here in the front if you want to put anything in there and then you have the rest of the bag where you can put anything in there and that's what that looks like and then I'm gonna go in and um, spray this because it said it also was a setting primer and remember to always shake well so that's what I'm doing to activate it and I'm just gonna spritz it all over my face let it dry and I'm gonna put some lipstick on and I will be right back all right so I'm back with the lips already done this is the soft matte lip cream um, in the shade Transylvania by NYX that's what that looks like so let's go ahead and review this month's product we did get an extra product this month um, just as a welcome so let's go ahead and review so this is the first product that I grabbed out of the box this is the mask um, it did feel really nice after using it I'm gonna go ahead and use it up and see how it works for my skin unless it does something crazy or I get a weird reaction to it so far it's good then we're gonna move to the Lux me melt cream balm <laughs> This was really nice. Um, I felt like my skin got really hydrated. I'm going to see if I can use it at night and see what it looks like when I wake up. But it did look really, really nice. I did like this. And then next, we have the Ciate Dewy Spritz. The packaging is so, so pretty. I love it. It's really nice. I did feel that it did what it said. It was hydrating and also um, illuminating. Uh, my skin right now looks really luminous actually. I really did like this. So for right now in the winter, this is definitely a good, 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 good product. And then moving on, we use the Morphe highlighter. So you guys can see it looks really pretty. It doesn't look patchy, it was easy to apply. It looks pretty everywhere that it's at. And it's not too overwhelming. If you want a little bit, you can definitely go more light-handed with it so you don't look so glowy if that's not something you want. And then this Smashbox um, glitter palette. So this was actually really pretty. When I was swatching it, I felt like you couldn't see the shades a lot. But once I put it in my eye, it was really, really pretty. So I did like this. Um, I'll have to play around with it a little bit more and see what other looks I can come up with. Maybe I'll use it in an upcoming video. But this was really nice. I did like that and the glitters. I don't know, can you see the glitters? I thought it was really reflective, so I did like this. It's really pretty. And the last product, which is the Man Eater, Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I'm not, I don't know, I feel like mascara is mascara. I can't find one that I find that works so, like, 
good with my eyelashes. The one that I do like a lot though is the Lash Paradise. I'll always use that one. This one was okay. That's my thought on that. <laughs> and like always guys, I'll leave the links all down below. You guys can go check out Ipsy, check out any of these products if you guys are interested in them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in my next one. Toodles. And it's a wrap. It looks nice. It looks nice.